this is Sandra Jack Shaw with Ardiazzo Productions, and we're here at the Historical Orpheum Theater in Foxborough for the world premiere of Higher Methods. And I am here with the writer, Lenny Schwartz. How are you today? Nice, nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Hi, everyone. Did I pronounce the name correctly? Yes, thank you. And hi, Mom, for at home. And, <laughs> and if my daughter's watching this, please go to sleep. Uh, she's probably not watching this, but she might be. You don't know. She's nine, so she's oh, eight now. Her birthday's on Tuesday, so. I, I wish it was a live TV broadcast, but, we, but you can definitely give her the YouTube link and oh, she'll really? be able to. She'll be playing it back and back and back and forth and be like, oh gosh, my father, ooh, oh. ooh, it'd be awful. No, anyway, so yeah. So go ahead, I'll let you do your job and I'll answer whatever I can. Well, Lenny, I find you very interesting, as I just said to you before we went on, is you're a funny guy, but you write these deep, dark, psychological thrillers. Yeah, I, um, this is really a strange kind of night for me because I've written this back, I wrote a short version back in 1998, I think, like a 13 page version. And then I wrote the full play, um, the play version in uh, 2012 was put up in 2013 and then kind of had a life of its own afterwards which is really nice but um, I actually find it to be a comedy which nobody did and it's really strange it's like it's, I'm looking around I'm like oh my god it's all scary posters and this guy's all PO'd and stuff and I'm just kind of like oh my god it's not a comedy I guess so that's how people look at it I guess so hi Jamie I'm on. <laughs> I know her. Everybody's individual perspective when they see the film, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It depends on what they. Uh, it depends on what they see and what they. Uh, I don't actually like to give answers to this kind of film. I want people to kind of experience for themselves. Plus, I wrote it so long ago. I just forgot what's even going to happen. It's so weird. <laughs> it's like. How do you and, and I, how do you feel about um, Nathan as director? Oh, he's great. Um, no, he's he's been fantastic. I mean, he does. He did a really great job. Um, I haven't actually seen the film in about a, a, about a about a year and a half, so I'm excited to see. Um, I just excited to see what it, what he had done with it. There's some scenes I didn't see because they hadn't been filmed yet, and um, so I'm excited to see the editing. I'm excited, to especially see the music actually, on uh, the music, especially because I want to see what that adds just an element oh, to it. That's what makes the film: editing, uh, music. Yeah, yeah, and the, and the and the person who did it is absolutely fantastic. So I'm looking to see what they. There's a CD somewhere around there about that. You should buy that CD. That's all I got to say. So. Absolutely. Well, we're looking forward to seeing it, and thank you so much for the interview. Well, thank you. I'm just, uh, thank you so much. I see we have 23 seconds. I won't do a rap. <laughs> I was planning on rapping, but apparently I can't. So uh, enjoy the comedy, higher methods. The comedy. No, I'm, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very thank, much. <laughs> thank thank you. you, Lenny. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.